Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Thank you guys very much for clicking on this video. Today we are taking a look at Harris English Golf Swing, who just won this last week on the PGA Tour. And Harris English has, well, probably a very underrated player, kind of up there quite a lot on the PGA Tour. Doesn't He gets kind of normally one or two wins a year, which to be fair is very, very good going in such tough competition and he has a very very good golf swing that we can learn a lot of things from. So let's dive in and take a look. First of all we're going to have a look at Harris English swing uh, from down the line and front on with a three width then we're going to have a look at some iron swings. Now this guy is very very good, tall guy, long levers but if we look at Harris's setup here with the three width incredible setup, really good setup, you could really, anyone could copy that. Fairly upright, but he's a tall guy, and very, very good posture, absolutely perfect setup, alignment is also excellent. So as we take this club back, watch this club come back. It's actually gonna, the hands kind of move a bit away from the body, it's quite an interesting takeaway. If we pause it parallel to the ground, Quite an interesting takeaway here, the hands in the club have actually moved further away from the body. They're not kind of moving in and around like you'd see in a traditional takeaway. He also at this point hasn't really moved the lower upper bodies too much. The upper body started to move but not really the lower body very much. And now uh, a few other things to mention, obviously club is outside the hands. Um, not kind of minimal wrist set at this point, not a huge amount, but not like a huge amount of width either. But as we take the club to the top, we slowly play this back. It's going to come back on a pretty upright plane. He gets that club nice and st vertical kind of into the ground, but he pulls the arms kind of deep and across him, which is quite interesting. And if we pause it at the top here, it's quite a, a kind of slightly odd backswing where the hands and arms kind of move away and then he pulls everything back behind him to get that depth. And there's a few really interesting things to mention at this point in the golf swing. Uh, first of all, let's work our way from the ground up. It's a pretty good leg action. There's a little bit of turn in the knees to the right, which I kind of always talk about because I personally don't like to see any real turn in the knees, but some players do it. But he's nicely loaded into that right right heel, kind of right glute, good position there. And, you know, good hip turn, good shoulder turn. And as we pay some attention to the arm structure in the club, the club's in a great position. A few noticeable things with the arms. Harris has a great amount of width here, by the way, in his swing. And you can tell that by that right arm is probably around 90 degrees, which is really good. The elbow, right elbow, quite far away from the body as well, getting more width. And if we look at the hands, well, he's got a few really interesting things happening. He's got some cup in that left wrist, which is really interesting for one. But important to note that that club is not open, even though he's got a little bit of cup in that left wrist, which would kind of traditionally make that club face a little bit open. He's actually, that club face is pretty much square. So why is that? Well, this means he has a slightly strong left hand grip, something we've been seeing a ton of recently. Players tending to strengthen their left hand grips a little bit. And also great amount of arm depth here with those arms kind of pulled across him. Not a little bit above the shoulder plane with the hands and arms, but not much, kind of fairly across his chest. And as we play this down, he's got a lot of depth with the hands and arms. So he's going to try have to get those hands and arms back out in front of him. So he's going to do this by, if we watch the right arm, the right elbow, and the arms reposition back out in front of him as he kind of shallows the club, comes down on a really beautiful plane. If we pause it parallel to the ground, by the way, he's coached by JP Parsons, um, so it, who coaches a lot of really great tour players. Um, he coaches kind of, well, quite a handful really. Charlie Hoffman's another who we had a look at his swing recently, who he coaches, um, Max Homer, another one. And if we have a look at Harris here, parallel to the ground, um, really excellent position here. There's a few things to note. Very, very good posture, really good posture, and spine angle is identical pretty much to what it has been through the swing. 
So those two things, huge, hugely important, really, really important. A few interesting things to note. The club is actually fairly open in this position, um, kind of old fashioned slightly in that respect with the kind of toe pointing up towards the ground. Quite interesting there. And a kind of a little bit of rotation, his hips are open to the target, so a decent amount of rotation. Not masses, but a decent amount, especially considering he's maintained his spine angle and posture. And as we play this down into the ball, because that club's now open there, he's going to have to start to release the hands and arms down into the ball. If we pause it, just at impact. Again, posture is excellent. Good, you know, hips and shoulders open to the target. Absolutely love that. Great connection with the arms as well. And then from here, if we keep playing it through, he's going to have to let that toe release over a bit in order to square up the club face as we come through. But as we come through slowly, the club, I, and I love this about Harris's swing, the club comes up kind of through his left shoulder. It doesn't kind of finish low and left. It comes kind of up and in front of him and above the left shoulder. Let's play this through and just take another look at that because there's a few things going on there. And if we just play this back, see those hands and arms move away in the takeaway and then kind of move across him. He pulls the arms across him. But beautiful downswing, so such good posture as he comes through the ball and then releases the hands and arms hard. And then they finish up above him. And that's what enables him to really kind of maintain a good club plane, a good swing plane, a good club path. And not kind of be slicing the ball even though he kind of gets the club a little bit open and isn't coming through super shallow so he kind of finishes up and above him so keeps a really nice consistent beautiful plane and that ball just takes off dead straight now so let's just quickly have a look at harris english with the three wood from front on and help us understand a little bit more about this golf swing so here we are at three by the way these swings are from the us open so super super recent as we, well, we have it here at setup, pretty much a textbook, textbook setup here. Um, nothing really to note. It's just a great setup position. I like a lot of things about it. You can see that left foot of his is kind of flared open a little bit. Pretty much most of the good players do that. Or a lot of, well, most guys on tour do that, really. Helps you just rotate and release a bit of pressure from that left ankle and left knee. Um, good central weight. As we take the club back, Watch, it's kind of the hands and arms that start to move the club first and the chest and shoulders catch up a little bit if we pause it parallel to the ground. It's quite a wide takeaway actually from this angle, even though he's kind of taking the club away a little bit with the hands and arms. Um, they, and you can kind of see a little bit of a gap between the right elbow, the right, um, kind of under his right arm. You can see that gap, so that kind of slight detachment in the arms. But as we know, he pulls the arms across. If we keep playing this to the top, he then pulls them deep across. And he's loading really beautifully into that right side. And if we pause it at the top here, it's not that long a golf swing, but... It's it's I, I love it for loads of reasons. I, I wouldn't really like to see him get too much longer than this. Um, a few things to note, beautifully, if we work from the ground up, beautifully loaded and turned uh, back into that right hip, right glute. Uh, you can see kind of the weight and pressure going down into his right heel. Really like that a lot. Big shoulder turn as well. Fairly athletic guy to be able to rotate his shoulders that much. Um, hands and arms kind of still nicely in front of him, actually. Um, club obviously very short of parallel and if we start to play this down we're gonna see a big lateral shift to the left shifting it through the ball into his left side early and then he rotates hard and as we come down into impact it's a really good impact position there's not like a huge amount of lag or release in this golf swing he keep, he maintains Quite good wrist angles pretty much throughout the backswing, takeaway, and downswing. And um, at impact, yeah, great position. We can see a lot of weight and pressure going through his left side through the ball. And, you know, hips and shoulders open to the target. Hasn't really flipped or released the hands too much. Coming through nice and shallow as we swing through. Extends the arms beautifully down the line and up above that left shoulder. Let's just play that back a few times, have a quick look at that. It really is a great swing. There's a, there's a lot 
you know we could copy from this and at the end of this video I'll be telling you guys you know what I would recommend copying from the swing what I maybe wouldn't and by the way guys make sure you do give this video a like subscribe to the channel and comment your thoughts below if you see anything I haven't mentioned or you know just let me know what you think of Harris English golf swing comment down below I'd love to hear from you guys or reply to all of your comments so now guys let's take a look at an iron swing this is a really good look I think it's about an eight iron Harris is hitting here. Looks like he's on a range somewhere and nicely set up with a bag of balls at a tour event. Oh, TPC Sawgrass, this is. And as we take the club back here, again, we're going to kind of notice the same thing. Hands and arms a little bit detached and away from the body. If we pause it parallel to the ground, club face is slightly open too um, compared to his spine angle. And as we take it to the top, he's going to pull those arms in deep behind him as the club continues up and if we pause it here at the top of the backswing um, quite interesting position here a little bit different actually the hands and arms quite a lot lower uh, the right arm right elbow 90 degrees good position there again we can see slight cupping in that left wrist just slight here not kind of as noticeable as it was um, but yeah very very a lot of a lot of depth with the arms and then as we, but good, actually really good with the lower body here. And then as we start to play this down, again, we're going to see the arms start to move back out in front as he rotates, getting that club back out in front of him. Club shallows just a little bit as we pause it parallel to the ground. Again, face of the club fairly open here, but beautiful position, beautiful posture, beautiful spine angle. And if we play it down into the ball, and pause it. Impact again, really nice positions. Even though it doesn't have a huge amount of rotation, does have a decent amount. The hips are open to the target, shoulders are just starting to open. And more importantly than that is his posture and spine angle that he's maintained and shifting his weight through the ball. If we play this through, it's gonna have to release that toe over down the line, extend the arms, and not a huge amount of rotation on the way through. That club kind of comes up, then and that beautiful balanced finish. Really like the look of that. Let's play this through just once or twice to give you guys a good look at it. And a few things, I just love the width he creates in this swing. Through the whole swing, there's no great hinging of the wrists and releasing or, or lagging of the wrists or anything. He keeps a beautiful swing arc and he's a very consistent player on the PJ Tour and you can kind of see why because of that. It's a really, really good, good look at this. Um, so now guys, let's take a look at a, another swing. Let's take a look at this driver swing of Harris English. And then we might just have one more look at his swing. This is a really good look at how his body moves in the golf swing quite up close here. And as we take the club away, again, setup, nothing really new to mention, just a great setup. You can see those hands moving kind of away and he kind of slightly rolls the wrist just in and under a little bit. As we pause it parallel to the ground, again, same sort of thing, club very open, well, not very open, but a little bit open, more of an old-fashioned takeaway. As he brings the club to the top, he pulls those arms deep in behind him, but look at the lower body and the shoulders turning to, to the top here. If we pause it at the top, this is obviously with driver, again, we can notice more cupping in the left wrist, um, we can notice kind of more turn, less pivot with the lower body gonna do a video to explain that a little bit more in depth to you guys because I do mention it quite a lot in my videos um, but you know good arm structure at the top the arms are very deep very across him not very high you know the hands are kind of are pretty much kind of in line with his shoulder plane maybe just above good you know 90 degree right angle with the uh, right arm and as we start to swing down, going to drop those hands and arms back in front of him. He rotates pretty hard in this one. If we pause it parallel to the ground, again, club face, pretty much the same position, toe pointed up at the sky, starting to rotate pretty early. And if we play it down to the ball, keeps really nice width down into the ball. And if we pause the impact, good, you know, very open with his chest and shoulders here. He kind of gets a bit more rotation with the longer clubs and good posture and everything maintained there, shifting his weight through. His right heel hasn't come up off the ground that much. And as we play it through, extends the arms beautifully down the line. I really like that look. And up above the left shoulder, really good, beautiful balance finish position. Let's just play this back once or twice for you guys to take a look at. 
Really good look at Harris English Golf Swing. I really like this move a lot. There's definitely some things I'm going to go through with you guys to, you know, some things we could all work on, learn from this from this golf swing. Some really, really important things here. Let's just have a look at one more swing, and this is uh, this is an iron swing. And this is a really good look at Harris English Golf Swing. Um, some really interesting things here we kind of have already touched on, but I'll just play, well, we'll have a look at two more swings. This one, I think it's about five iron, maybe six iron. And this is actually a Pebble Beach 18th hole. Really good look at Harris's swing here. I'll just keep playing it for you guys. You can kind of see what you think. Comment any thoughts you have down below. I'd like to hear from you guys. I do a really good look at his swing. Um, very smooth action, really smooth, beautiful rhythm like to see that a lot and now if we have a look at this one this is again slightly um probably about a, a seven iron and again i'll just play this through slowly for you guys so you can take a look i just love the posture he he kind of maintains with this golf swing it's kind of a golf swing that i would look at and think there's quite a lot of longevity in that it's very smooth, um, great posture, great angles, great biomechanics. No, it doesn't seem to be putting a huge amount of pressure um, through any parts of his body. So really like this swing, a lot to learn from. So guys, that is Harris English's golf swing. And now, what can we learn from that? What can we take away and apply to our own golf swings, our own games? First of all, we got to start with the setup. The setup is excellent, the posture, the alignment. Everything like that, I absolutely love it. Hips are nicely in line with his ankles, really good there. He maintains his posture throughout the golf swing really, really well. He, you know, keeps his posture to the top of the backswing through impact, doesn't early extend, maintains his spine angle. These are basic fundamentals, which if you do well, they will, you know, you will be a very good player. If you can do those fundamentals well and consistently, then you know you should be a very good ball striker and be playing off a very low handicap and you know even on the pj tour that's not something that everyone does that well so you know something definitely to learn from there um a few things maybe not to copy from harris's swing i wouldn't say you know some of these guys we have a look at their golf swings and they have kind of a slightly unusual takeaway or backswing and that's not probably something they've really learned. It's probably something more that, you know, it's just natural to them, the natural way they they, t they take the club away. And I would say mostly with their coaches, it would be rare for them to do that much work on their takeaway and backswing. Sometimes they will a little bit if, if they find something's really having an effect later in the swing. But, you know, sometimes they're mainly concerned with things at the top of the backswing and how they move down into the ball. And that's what all of these guys do really well, including Harris English. He does get the face a little bit more open than some modern golfers, you know, some of the younger guys, certainly. Maybe not quite as much rotation, but he has much, much better posture. He's a great release through the ball. I know him and his coach do quite a lot of release work on his swing. I think that's kind of maybe a little bit of a key to his swing on what he works on but comment down below guys what do you think of harris golf, uh, harris english golf swing who do you want to see me take a look at next is there anything you think i missed in this video that i should have talked about and of course give it a like comment down below reply to all your comments subscribe and i will see you in the next one guys as always grip it and rip it